What I want to show you today is how to add formatting to the text on a Media Shout song. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a song. So if I right click on a blank space and then go insert lyric, I can then type in the name of the song. So I'm going to put in Amazing Grace. And here we have Amazing Grace. I can double click on it and it adds it to my list. Okay, and if I click on select, I can now see, if I look on the right hand side particularly, what is going to appear. So if I just fire verse 1, and we can see that on the right hand side, it's not too easy to read at all, and the format is not that nice. Okay, you can see a single word on a line, and it's all kind of um, looking a little bit odd. So we're just going to have a quick look at how we can format all of the verses at once to look the same and to be easier to read. So if I click on, right click on one of the verses and I just go properties, it's going to bring up a dialog box and it's going to show us the text in there. Okay, so we can go about changing the way that this looks by going down. So at the moment if I'm on the foreground tab, and if I click on text style, I can change the format of that text. So Georgia may be okay, or you may wish to choose something else, but I'm just going to leave it on there for the time being. And probably the size of the font is okay as well. So let's change the color. I always like to use yellow. Okay, and the reason I like to use yellow is because yellow stands out on almost any color. So if you've got a moving graphic in the background, it might use some light colors and some dark colors. Well, Yellow is kind of in between, so it works pretty well. Um, if you have really light colors and you've got white text, you're not going to see the white text so well. And then it dissolve. I like to have a bit of a dissolving effect, so I'm just going to put that on to relatively slow. Now, um, the pagina pagination, we can have a look at here. So we can allow it splitting over a page, or we can just have one page per, sorry, one stanza per page. So we can choose what, whatever we want to have there. So this all looks good to me. So I'm going to click on OK because I'm done. And apply to anything else that comes up. So now I've got yellow text. OK. So now I may want to have this all centered. So to center it, I could go back to where I was and under textile. And I could actually just say center. And that's going to center it all for me. Now, even with this, it's a little bit hard to see, so I can make it a little bit easier to see. Now, one of the things that you can do is just compare what I'm doing here with what's happening in this preview pane here. So kind of like a before and after. You can see how much easier it is to read now. Okay. Now, if I just put a... I'll take the shadow off, and I'll use a black outline. So if I just click on outline here... It's now got a slight outline around it, so if I click on fire, um, it comes up nice and clearly on that screen there for us. I don't use outline and shadow together because it takes too much memory on your machine and it will go very, very slowly. So if I just click on apply, I go OK. I can now go through verse by verse, and on this preview screen it doesn't actually do the fades, but on the big screen it would be. And so that's how easy it is to format text on MediaShop.